Hello there guys, today we're going to be taking a look at Arch Linux. Now a couple episodes ago I said that I wasn't going to because I didn't know much about it. And while I have yet to actually fully install it on my main system, I took a look at something else. Now if you've read the title of this video then you know that we are going to be using a command called arch install, correct? So arch install is a command that pretty much just lets you type it in, gives you a very simple setup, and you can easily install it. But why should I just be saying this? Instead, I'm going to show you. So we're going to create a little system called Archbox here. It sets up as Arch Linux 64-bit. We're going to give it um, 6 gigs, so 600 of 128. 128 because it uses Grub, and I don't know if a bootloader that needs any more than 128 megs. And we'll set up a VDI image and we'll give it the standard 38 gigs. Go ahead and create that. Let's go into our settings. Everything's good there. We want to set up hard disk over top of floppy. We can go ahead and disable floppy if you want. Well, I'll keep it there just in case. Processor. We're going to give it uh, four threads, two cores. Display. 128 megs. There you go. SPGA, 3D acceleration enabled. We need to set up our IDE disk. We're going to give this Arch Linux. There we go. The ISO is in. Everything is up and running. So let's go ahead and just check this, make sure it's all good. That's fine. So we're going to go ahead and just start the virtual machine full screen that. As you see, we are in an arch box. So we'll go ahead and install medium BIOS. We're going to want that. And just give this a minute to start up. Here we go. It is starting up Arch Linux. This will be a very short video because there isn't really much after this whole command. It makes Installing Arch, very, very simple. But I'll give you a walkthrough. So Arch install, once you have access, it's A-R-C-H-I-N-S-T-A-L-L. -L. And then just press enter. That's it. Okay. So it's automatically detected our language and keyboard, or just says that automatically, I don't know. Set up our mirror region as the United States. Hard drives will give it the full 38 gig block. Disk layouts will wipe all. We'll give it ext4. You can set up an encryption password if you wish, but I won't be doing that. Our bootloader is grub install. Use swap. I'll keep that true because I'll just show you how to disable it later. But you can go ahead and disable this if you want. I recommend disabling it. But for those who have reason for swap, I'll be showing you a command to disable it when need be. Specify host name is Arch Linux. Root password will type in a super secure password. Press yes for default. And now the specify user account will create a user called Petra. Give that an account name. Call that. And we will promote the user as super user. If this will be your account you'll be using. Confirm and exit. Now we've given us a user account, but we also need a profile. Now what does it mean by a profile? That means your desktop profile. We'll go ahead and go to that. Now you have four options here. You have desktop, minimal, server, and Xorg. Um, if you are new to Linux or if you're wanting to generally actually be able to use your system, then we'll click desktop. And you have a couple options here. You have the awesome BSPWM, Budgie, Cinnamon, Deepin, Enlightenment, Gnome, i3, KDE, LXQT, Mate, Qtile, Sway, and XFCE. Well, more specifically, XFCE4. And we'll go ahead and pick that. But if you don't want to, don't go. You can go ahead and just not do it. Now, you can also pick your drivers, which is really nice. You have, if you're running an AMD or an older ATI card, you can go ahead and click that. 
we have all open source we'll not be choosing that there's intel if you're using an intel card or intel integrated graphics click intel open source but let's say you have an nvidia card which i do but i'm in a virtual machine so won't, i will not be choosing anything for nvidia but if you're running an nvidia card you have two options you have one which is open source but for right now it's best to check to check proprietary hopefully there will only at some point just be nvidia open source no nvidia proprietary as the modules have been released but since i'm in a virtual machine and if you're following along on a vm as well click vmware virtual box open source there you go select audio pipewire is default but i'll be choosing pulse audio because that's what i know works with my system additional packages you want to click that okay so Right off the bat, it will automatically install base, base devl, Linux, Linux firmware, EFI boot manager as well, which is really good to have. In case you don't have an EFI on your system, you're on hardware. This should be able to work for you, no problem. But we want to have a few things installed, right? So we'll have Firefox as our browser. We'll have Vim for looking at any code you might want to look at. We'll also have HTOP and NeoFetch. Let's verify they, they exist, and there we go. Now, configure network. You need to do this, otherwise you will not have access to a network. Come down to the third option, which is use network manager. That will automatically set everything up for you. Select time zone, select your time zone here. You can wrap around if you need to. If people are trying to speedrun this. I'll be choosing US Eastern, because I am on Eastern Standard Time. Go ahead and keep NTP enabled. Additional repositories. Let's set up the multi-lib repository because we need something to work with here. And then that'll be it. We can just go ahead and click install. And press enter and let it go. There we go. Simple. And we'll go ahead and just let it install and I'll be right back when it's done. And here we go, it is done installing. We're going to go ahead and true root because why not? And if you have no reason to be in this, we can just go ahead and click exit or type exit actually. And then we will reboot. <clears throat> and we'll just let that reboot the installation. And here we go. The install line. We have advanced options for Arch Linux and of course just Arch Linux. We're just going to click Arch Linux. We just need to get it all up and running and that's it. Everything went fine. If you have any problems, go ahead and just say this down in the comments and I'll help you out. Set our super secure password for our user. And here we go. We're in. Says every hacker ever. Because of course we're Linux users, we have to be hacker man, right? And let's take a good little look. Find 1920 by 1080. Apply, give this configuration, and there we go. Everything is up and running. So you see here we have this cell going, we have a little terminal. If we go ahead and htop, htop is installed because we installed it. Neofetch is installed because we installed it. And there we go, we got a sexy load Neofetch up there. So. Yeah, that's really about it. Although I'll go through a few other things just to be safe. So we have our browser down here, but that just opens up Firefox. And it's a little slow, give it a break, hits a virtual machine. And as you can see, we actually do have internet access. Because of course we had network manager. And that's all good and dandy. So let's say you need to install something, right? All right. Let's say you want to install really let's say you want to install C matrix, right? It's a little command. We're gonna type C matrix. It's not in here, right? Okay. So we're gonna type Pac-Man. Okay. And we know we typed it in right because it says no operation specified. And then you do dash capital S and then type what you want. C matrix. Oh, I'm sorry, we need to sudo dash s, 
type in our password. There we go. Now we are root. So now we can Pac-Man dash capital S. C matrix. And there we go. It will install that little helpful, de de definitely, definitely useful uh, little program. C matrix. You need this to just scare all the normies. So, yeah. That's about it. If you need to install anything else or need help with anything, feel free to comment down below or come here to the Arch Wiki. Oh, what about setting up Firefox? I will be going through a video on how to fully harden Firefox later. It really doesn't install LibreWolf, but if you want to just use Firefox, you want to get it done quickly, add search bar tool. I recommend that, but you don't need to. I always do, though. Set to DuckDuckGo. Do not provide search suggestions. Get rid of, we're going to remove Amazon, Google, Bing, eBay, Wikipedia. Privacy was set to strict. Um, send do not track signals. Delete cookies, because those can actually be very dangerous. You can go ahead and disable this if you want. I always do. Yes, please show me alerts. Uh, autofill addresses, autofill credit cards, no. Autofill addresses, no. Member history. Mm, you can go to that up on your own. I'm not going to bother with that. Um, you can go and kill this if you wish. And reality is, yeah, this is, oh, get rid of this. Hmm. Block dangerous downloads. You know what? No. Um, you can decide if you want everything to be HTTPS. I will. And that's it, really. Yeah. There you go. So, Arch Wiki. There we go. Everything's all good. And there you go. If you have any questions, you can ask the Arch Wiki. You can comment down below. You have AUR here, the Arch User Repository. So, thank you for watching. That's a quick little setup installation of Arch Linux. And, well, yeah, that's actually it. It's fairly simple nowadays because the community finally got along to saying, hey, we need a simple way to do this. And you know what? Now we do. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. I am out. Have a good rest of your day.